it's really a serious problem. You know, gold panning and cattle ranching, you know, slash, you know, milpa farming are the two main challenges right now that we face in the Chiki Bowl. The Chiquibul Forest is the largest protected area in Belize, representing almost 8% of the country's terrestrial surface. For decades, it has been under threat from illegal incursions by loggers, poachers, chateros, and now primarily by cattle ranchers and gold panners. Since the 1980s, over 12,000 acres of land have been lost as a result of the agricultural frontier expansion. A flyover by the BDF chopper within the adjacency zone in the Caballo area shows large areas of the forest cleared by Guatemalans for cattle ranching and settlements several miles east of the border in Belizean territory. Well, this area was identified because it is a hot spot, which basically means that there has been activities documented. And, you know, just across from here, in, as we look into the western um, you know, flank of the park, um, you will find, um, you know, behind some of the mountains, you will find one or two small settlements of Guatemalans. So we already know that these are areas that practically would have a mobilization of people from time to time. In fact, here where we are, it has already been used before. So what you can see is basically more a secondary forest um, um, that had been used over the years. It is being reclaimed now, um, but that does not really mean that other areas are not being cleared, you know, north and south of this zone. While there are ongoing works to install other access roads and conservation posts to better monitor and mitigate the illegal activities, the Chickable Forest Investment Initiative is proceeding full speed. The $2.176 million project, funded by PACT and the Environmental Management Fund, seeks to strengthen enforcement and protection of the national park. In May of this year, a fleet of vehicles was donated, and on Monday, a conservation post was officially inaugurated in the Caballo area, nine kilometers north of the Caracol archaeological site and 1.4 kilometers from the adjacency line. This project came at a cost of $115,000. The extremely important but very challenging task of protecting the ecological and territorial integrity of this immense landscape is today made a little bit easier with the inauguration of this strategic conservation post. The conservation post, along with our joint effort, will help to prevent the further exploitation of the natural and cultural resources of our country. The construction of the Caballo Conservation Post is but one part of a larger goal aimed at encouraging a multi-institutional approach to strengthen the capacity for joint law enforcement and protection of the Chiquibul. The difficulties of access and the remoteness of the Chiquibul area is one that has aided in facilitating illegal activities for so many years. For one, it restricts the presence of management organizations and allows would-be encroachers almost limitless access and opportunity to illegally exploit our natural resources. And that remoteness was clearly felt as the caravan traveled through the dense forest to the Caballo Conservation Post, several miles from the Tapir camp in the heart of the Chiquibul. The trek was arduous, escorted by officers of the Belize Defense Force, whose mandate is to protect the territorial integrity of the country. We have limitations of scarce resources. We have the limitations of a very rugged terrain, especially during the hurricane season. We have the limitation of a more aggressive set of people coming to disrupt the, conser the conservative effort that the FCD makes, that the Forestry Department makes. And amidst all of this, we are very aware that there are illicit activities in this area as well. The new facility, which will house up to 14 persons from the Joint Patrol, was constructed by the Bull Ridge Company Limited within four weeks. It provides a resting place for the Rangers, the BDF, the police and the Forestry Department. This will be our patrol base here at um, Caballo, and we, our aim is to dominate the, the surrounding ground and terrain. As, as we know from here, we're only about a mile from the adjacency zone, 
where most of the um, illegal activities are occurring. And our aim out here is to, to deter that illegal activity as much as possible. Meanwhile, gold panning activities have been on the rise, threatening the local headwaters in the southern part of the Chiquibul. The terrain is rugged and access by rangers to the area is no easy task. Executive Director Rafael Manzanero fears that the Guatemalan panners won't stop until they've extracted all the gold minerals in the area. Yeah, gold panning um, has been ongoing for quite some years. In fact, um, you know, there is another building like this in the zone, where, you know, which is in the volcanics on the southern part of the Chiquibul, which is the Cebu Chico Conservation Post. The idea of putting that one was basically also to contain the gold panners in that area. And since the last you know, three years um, of active you know, presence in the zone, we still have not been able to contain that. And the gold panning continues to occur. Guatemalans have changed now their activities from daylight to nighttime, and so it makes it even much more difficult to be able to, um, to contain the issue. Dwayne Moody reporting for News 5.